Hi, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this video, you will learn how to create visually stunning animated timeline graphic in PowerPoint 2013. The animated timeline graphic you will learn to create today looks like this. As you can see, we have six steps in this timeline. On a click, I have the first step explained. And on the next click, the attention is brought to the second step which is then explained and then on the next click the attention is brought to third which is explained. So that is how this beautiful animated timeline graphic works and it's a very memorable graphic for your audience. Let me show you how to create this beautiful animated timeline graphic from scratch. Here I am on a new slide and the first thing I need is to go to auto shapes menu. Under basic shapes I am going to pick up this tool called as teardrop tool. I'm going to hold the shift button down as I draw a teardrop. Now this is going to show the various steps in our timeline graphic. Then I'm going to right click on this, go to size and position. I'm not going to format shape as usual. I'm going to size and position option here and that opens up this pane. Now I'm going to rotate this teardrop shape so that the pointed end is to the right. So let me go here and add a 45 degrees rotation by going to the option here under rotation and we enter 45 and hit enter and as you can see here this is now pointed to the right. Then I am going to go to shape fill option here and choose a different color for the fill like say orange color and then let me go to shape effects go to preset and I am going to choose the option called preset 2. Now that is beautiful. Then let us go to auto shapes menu, go to basic shapes and pick up the oval tool and then I am going to hold the shift button down as I draw a circle and I am going to place the circle right in the middle of the teardrop. Go to shape outline and say no outline, go to shape fill and say white color and then go to shape effects, go to shadow and then choose one of the inner shadows. Either you can choose this or you can choose this. I am going to choose this one called as inside top. Now this shape looks as if this particular space is carved out of this teardrop. Now with this done, I am going to enter a number here, say 1. And you cannot really see that because the font, si the font uh, color is by default white. So I'm going to click on the bounding box and go to the font color option here and I'm going to choose black color so it's clearly visible. Then go to the font type and choose a font which is naturally thick like say Arial Black and we are going to increase the font size so the number is clearly visible. Now with this done I'm going to click and drag across both the shapes and I'm going to place it somewhere here. And I'm going to then write my text which explains the first step. So let me go to Auto Shapes menu, pick up the text box tool and I'm going to write some sample text. You can replace this sample text with yours. So that is the text that I'm going to use as a sample text. And let us pretend that this is going to be the explanation for the first step. And I'm going to increase the font size to 20 and then I'm going to have that centrally aligned so it looks proper. Now I'm going to select the text and the circle and I'm going to go to arrange align and say align center so they're both in one line. Now the next step is to add animation so that this timeline graphic looks visually compelling. Now the animation that I'm going to apply is going to be on this teardrop alone. So I have selected the teardrop shape and then let me go to animations tab in PowerPoint ribbon and keep the animation pane open. I am going to close this format shape pane so you can clearly see what's going to happen here on the slide. Then I'm going to apply an animation by going to this drop down menu and I'm going to use an animation called emphasis animation and it is going to be spin animation. As you can see here, this is the preview of the animation and it has gone one full circle. We are going to naturally adjust the rotation uh, angle. So let me go to effect options here and then I'm going to say quarter spin. 
Now, as I click on quarter spin, you can see that it goes and stops here where our explanation would appear. So the first um, animation is done. And as you can see, this is way too slow. I'm going to keep it, keep it to somewhere around, uh, say 0.75 or 0.5. Now with that done, the next step is to add an animation here for this text. And the animation I'm going to apply is wipe animation. And the direction of wipe animation is from top. So as you can see, first the teardrop is going to turn down. And after that, as you can see, if I have to say after that, I need to go to start and say after previous, this is going to wipe down. Now I'm going to add one more animation to this teardrop. So I'm going to select the same object once again. This time I'm going to go to add animation option. I'm not going to choose any option here because that would replace the earlier animation. So let us go to add animation here. And once again, we are going to go to the spin animation. Now this time we are going to make a small change in terms of the effect options. We are going to choose counterclockwise option and then we are going to say quarter spin. Now this is going to be in the same duration as the earlier one, which is 0.5 seconds. And now we have three animations that are there. One is on a click. You can see that the teardrop is going down. And then after that, this wipes down. And then there is another animation on click, which goes back to the original position. This teardrop goes back to the original position. Now with this done, I'm going to select all these items and then I'm going to hold the control button down as I click and drag to the new position. Holding the control button down allows me to create a duplicate of the earlier selected shapes. And now I can place this, as you can see here, the smart guide is allowing, allowing me to place this exactly in the position that I want. Now I'm going to change this to two. And once again, I'm going to select everything, hold the control button down as I place this to the new position. And I'm going to change this to three. I'm going to repeat the operation so that I have sufficient number of steps required for my timeline graphic. In this case, I'm going to have five steps. So I'm going to click and drag and keep it here. And that looks good. Now I have five steps. Now the most important thing that you need to notice is each of these options here also comes with its own animation. Now we need to make a few simple tweaks to make this whole thing work like magic. Now, if you see here, there are these two animations that are happening on click right next to each other. Pick the second one and then say with previous. Do the same thing for the rest of them as well. The second one in the group which has on click option here, go here and say with previous. And if you want to select multiple ones at the same time, you can select this, hold the control button down as you select the next one. And then together you can say with previous and the changes get applied automatically. Now, finally, we don't want this to come back to its original position. So we are going to delete this particular one. I'm going to say delete and that's it. If I have to just read this in English, the way it would be is on a click, I'll have the teardrop going down. After that, the text box appears. And then on the next click, this goes back to its original position while the next one, the next teardrop goes down and then the text gets shown. So that is how the pattern is repeated. Let us go to the slideshow mode. On a click, the teardrop goes down and the text is animated. On the next click, two things are going to happen. This is going to go back to its original position while this is going to come down. As you can see, that is what has happened. And right after that, you have the text shown. And then we continue the operation for the rest of the timelines. So that is how we create a beautiful animated timeline graphic. If you liked the clarity of my explanation and the creativity of the effects that I've been showcasing all the while in presentation process channel, then you will really love our Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program. It is a structured way to master PowerPoint. Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program is arguably the most comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training online. 
You can find more details about Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program by clicking on the No More button here. And by the way, I hope you liked the tutorial that I taught you in this video. If you did, then I have a wonderful treat for you. I have put together a beautiful mini training called Learn 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas to Make Your Slides Slick and Interesting. If you're a business presenter, like say you are a business owner, a business executive, a trainer or a consultant, then you will find this course extremely useful. You can sign up for this mini training by clicking on the button here. You can also sign up for the mini training by clicking on the link in the description area below this video. So go ahead, click on the button here, sign up for the mini training and take your business presentation slides to a whole new level. I'll see you inside the mini training.